Perhaps the best known Old Testament example of perseverance is the story of Job. As you know, it narrates the afflictions that befell a righteous man and considers reasons for those afflictions. It does not entirely answer the question of why Job or anyone might suffer pain and sorrow, but does state clearly that affliction is not necessarily a sign of God's anger and a punishment for sin, as Job's friends told him. The book suggests that affliction, if not for punishment, may be for experience, discipline, and instruction. I do not know of anything that members of the Church need more than they need the conviction and perseverance of Job. He was a just man who feared God and avoided evil. After the Lord delayed, allowed Satan to torment Job, his afflictions included the loss of his seven sons and three daughters and the loss of his wealth in flocks and herds and serious physical illnesses. Remaining faithful to the Lord through his indescribable sorrow and suffering, Job was able to say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. He also shall be my salvation, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, yet in my flesh shall I see God. The result of Job's perseverance is told in the conclusion of the story. The Lord blessed him with a family, good health, and great possessions. He continued in his course, despite unrelenting opposition until he saw the Lord. 